Madrid, October 31, 1767, Cordoba, March 5, 1803. The first woman to obtain a university degree of doctor and the dignity of honorary academic of the language. Maria was the daughter of two great people of Spain who between them had 16 titles of nobility, six of them with greatness of Spain. Her childhood was spent among the court palaces of King Charles III. But it was not the luxury of the aristocracy that interested little Maria Isidra. Maria focused her attention on the literary gatherings where the notables of the court and letters attended, Messinero Romanos, Jovellanos, Count Floridablanca. In these gatherings, she immediately stood out for her eloquence, her mastery of languages, her memory beyond the normal and a rare and prodigious understanding, as his teachers Esquera Bayo and Antonio Almaza highlighted in the day. Her fame spread to such an extent that the director of the Royal Academy of Language, the Marquis of Santa Cruz, proposed, at the request of King Charles III, her admission to the Academy. Maria became the first female academic at just 17 years old. Three months after receiving her degree, still honorary, she had to undergo the consent of the tribunal of the University of Alcalá de Henares. To date, no woman had ever thought of such daring. For two days, before a tribunal made up of eight professors, Maria was examined in all subjects. He was examined in Greek, Latin, French, Italian, Spanish, rhetoric, mythology, geometry, geography, philosophy, logic, ontosophy, theosophy, psychology, physics, the animal world, the plant world, etc. In the end, the court handed down a sentence, the evidence was being far surpassed. Maria obtained a degree in philosophy and human letters and the honorary professorship of modern philosophy for her digression on Aristotle. In 1785 she joined the Basque Society of Friends of the Country and in 1786, in the Matratense Society, later in the Imperial Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg. Thanks to Mary, the Ladies' Board was created, the first collective institution for women outside of a convent. In 1789 she moved to live in Cordoba and her four children were born there. Maria died when she was only 35 years old. The Doctor of Alcalá was the first to open a path to women's wisdom in Spain.